Omar Mateen was a deeply troubled chameleon. At his local mosque in Fort Pierce, he appeared the devoted father. His loving father. He will hug his son, he will kiss his son, he will play with his son around here. Mateen prayed here late Friday night and then the next night murdered mercilessly. But if he was an extremist, Adel Nevsi says it wasn't from this pulpit. I did not see any radicalization on him. Was there anything hidden there that I did not see? Maybe, I don't know. The former security guard lived quietly in a small city two hours from Orlando. He owned a ground floor condo beside a duck pond. From a back door left open, you could see a homey living room. The FBI and the bomb squad were all over this condo early this morning. Gathering evidence, they vacated Omar Mateen's condominium. Inside, a real picture of domestic life, lots of photos of his son and his family, his son's room full of toys. No visible indications that the man who lived here could carry out the worst mass shooting in U.S. history. But the signs were there, and there was a pattern. A former co-worker at G4S Security, Daniel Gilroy, said Mateen had a violent nature. He was uh, an angry person, violent in nature, and a bigot. He would hit things, and, 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 and as he was hitting things, he would yell, and, and of course there was always curse words involved in that, and this wasn't seldom. His ex-wife says he beat her. After a few months, he started abusing me physically, very often, and... Uh, not allowing me to speak to my family. As a guard, Mateen screened visitors to the local courthouse. And while the FBI questioned him three times in 2013 and 14, he was free to legally buy two guns locally. Sadiq Mateen, his father, was oblivious to any brewing trouble. He didn't do nothing uh, as far as violence goes. His wife was happy, the kids was happy. But early today, the father posted his own video saying that it's God who must punish homosexuals, no one else. While back in his quiet neighborhood, people can't quite believe he lived here. To see somebody, a psychopath like that, living right there is pretty crazy. Peter, the picture of the killer is anything but clear. Today, at least six people who frequent the Pulse nightclub say they recognize Mateen as the guy who came to that club on numerous occasions to drink long before Sunday.